Good morning, everybody. Mr. Balker here, broadcasting from the patio. It's going to be a little bit different. Uh, the next few videos are going to roll out like this. My apologies. I cannot go to the school and use my fancy equipment. Uh, but don't worry. We're going to make the best of this, and I'm uh, going to do the lessons just as well as I can. So with that all said, let me share my screen. I'm going to show you exactly where we're going today. Okay, today we're going to work on Unit 7B, subunit 1, a raisin in the sun, and we're now up to the third lesson. Uh, third lesson is about really the money is going to arrive and they start kind of talking about what they want to do. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is, again, guys, every single time you log in Amplify, you want to go to the first card here and spend some time doing uh, vocabulary. I'm going to grade it and you need to know the words. So some days it's really easy and some days it might take you 10 minutes to, to get a few words right. Uh, just get it done. That's just the way that it has to be. Um, now let's go ahead and go to card two. What card two is talking about is character wants, characters, obstacles, and what characters do in order to achieve their goals. Okay. And so the very, the very first part here is Benita comes in and she's obviously perturbed. She's annoyed that she can't get into the shower. Why can she not get into the shower? Because she slept longest, right? Uh, we already know that uh, that the boy Travis is the first one in, and then certainly Walter now has gotten in, and then Benita, you know, is is acting like everybody else owes it to her, and that's kind of an interesting difference in in what she does to take action versus some other people do. So they've got some questions for you here. Let's go to the second card, and let, and let's answer these questions. So Benita goes through, looks out at the bathroom and she wants to go use it. And then she knows that somebody else has already gotten in there, right? The Johnsons has gotten in there. So what does she do about it? I think nothing. Basically she complains. She blames it on somebody else, okay? Um, she does at one point walk over there and bang on the door and tell them to hurry up, but they're not gonna listen to that. We know that. One of the different characters that they've got here is Travis, okay? Travis is watching the bathroom and he says, hey daddy, come on. Like, I know somebody's coming because he knows the obstacle that they're gonna face right there is that one of the Johnsons is probably gonna go use it as soon as, as soon as he walks out the door. So what does he do? Answer that, fill that out. You wanna do the same thing with Walter. You wanna do the same thing with Ruth, okay? So go ahead and answer these four questions. These are talking again about character motivations. What actions do they take to solve the problems that they're faced with, okay? Gonna go ahead and go up here to number three. And now we've got uh, the, the section here where Walter's in the shower and it's just Travis and Ruth talking there for a minute, okay? The question that they're asking out of the gate is what is it that Travis wants, okay? Travis wants something. And what is that something? Well, he wants, he wants 50 cents from his mom. And his mom, you know, when she listens to it, and, and if you've watched the video from the, last, uh, from the last video there, if you watch that conversation where Ruth is, is talking to her son about the who now? No, we're not gonna we're not gonna give money to that. She, she's a little outraged because he calls it their history. It's not his history, and it's an interesting disconnect that he has in his mind that his his mama doesn't doesn't appreciate. She doesn't want him to think that he's outside of the group of people that he's certainly a part of, and so she's really having a hard time getting her head around it. But I digress. What does he want? He wants to get money from her. What is what stops him? His mom says they don't have it, plain and simple. And so he tries to get pretty creative about getting around that, okay? He even offers to go bag groceries so that he can earn the money rather than just asking for the money. And I think that's a commendable action for sure. So go ahead, read through this, get comfortable, and they want you to annotate these things. Highlight what he wants, highlight what gets in his way, and highlight how he reacts to it, okay? And if you want to, you can even type notes in the annotations. Now we have the exact same thing, and you want to do the same thing for Benita, okay? So in Benita's section here, find out what gets in her way. And so now what we want to do is fill this out. You can pick whether you do it for Travis or Benita. I want you to pick one of those two characters because the writing assignment goes right along with this. So what you want to do is pick what the character wants what the obstacle of the character has is, what action that character takes to get around it, okay? And you've got a couple of sections there. It would be wisest to put at least two things, okay? Because we, we need to do a fairly good writing assignment and that's what we're gonna go to right now. So fill out this chart with a couple of things, 
about your character. Let's go to the writing set. This one here is assigned also at 120 words. Uh, I'm gonna be pretty, pretty strong on that number here for a little while, but let's talk about what a person wants. So pick one of the two things that you've got, okay? Uh, if you use two examples for the same thing, this is gonna be even easier. But what you basically wanna do is pick something that got in your character's way, whether that character is Travis or whether that character is beneath him, okay? I like those two characters the best for this because they're both trying to accomplish something. And so what do they do? How do they react, okay? Uh, if you read the prompt here, it's what is one thing that your character, Travis or Benita, wants right now? What obstacle gets in his or her way? And how does he or she react? What do they do about the obstacle? Talk about it in some detail and use evidence from the text. Specifically, I wanna know what happened. I wanna know in the text, Travis wants this, he says this, and he gets this. You need to explain it verbosely, okay? So that's it. Uh, as I said, most of these videos are not gonna be all that long. That's what we need to get done in this one, okay? Um, I will see you guys very, very soon.